you know, uh, uh, during Hurricane Katrina, the Coast Guard were magnificent. And example after example, the Coast Guard has the people down at the lowest level trained and empowered to make decisions. So it was an emergency, it was decentralized. There were people scrambling everywhere. But the Coast Guard, who'd been trained from the youngest and lowest level to make decisions, to take actions, were able to move quickly, save lives, take action. So when we talk about responding to emergencies, we want to empower the individuals, and the only way to do that is through training and simulators. So they can deviate from the plan when it's necessary. They can use their common sense. Whenever we talk about emergencies, when all else fails, you, you make your own decision. The greatest survival tool the world has ever seen is a human brain. And the human mind calmly, rationally making decisions and having the authority and, and having been empowered to make life and death decisions is the greatest survival mechanism the world's ever seen. The panic-stricken, unprepared human being is one of, the most, uh, one of the most frightening things around it, and it is incredibly dangerous and destructive to themselves and others. The prepared, trained, equipped human brain is one of the greatest survival mechanisms the world's ever trained. It's one of the greatest survival mechanisms the world's ever seen. Our goal is to, to let people know what needs to be done, and still let them have the authority to deviate as the situation calls for. You do not do that by slapping down rules. You do that by doing scenarios and giving them opportunities to have actually experienced it in training.